QBiomed is an acceleration and development company and really we set ourselves up to look for innovative biotechnology assets in the biotechnology field that we think were undervalued and underappreciated. We spent the first two years of our business building out a pipeline with multiple therapeutics in multiple therapeutic areas, looking at different places where we can really extract the best value from an early stage or a later stage product. The objective with QBiomed was to have assets from early stage all the way through to commercial ready. So there's always a milestone value inflection point coming up for shareholders to pay attention to. We spent the first two years developing those assets. We now have them in our pipeline. And the next 12 months are going to be a very exciting 12 months for QBiomed as we start to reach those value inflection points with the assets that we've licensed into our portfolio. So we think this is a really unique opportunity in terms of value proposition from a QBiomed stock standpoint. Firstly, we have a revenue producing drug that's FDA approved, becoming commercial by the end of this year. Uh, that's a real differentiator for us in the marketplace and provides a risk diversification for us and for our shareholders in terms of income into the company, which is very unique in the biotech space. We have several INDs that will be filed in the next six or seven months. As early as the first quarter of next year, we could be filing our IND for the autism spectrum disorder, which is a rare pediatric disease. And the economics associated with that are astounding. There's 50,000 children around the world that are suffering from this disorder. They're all in desperate need of a solution where there isn't one. And that's a multi-billion dollar opportunity for us. So that could be a fairly quick timeline to market given that it's a 505B2 regulatory pathway. That's a drug that could conceivably be ready for commercial use in as early as 2019. So a huge opportunity for us and we think that's a great value proposition. The other two drugs in our pipeline are a little bit further behind, but both of those should be having IND applications filed in 2018 for sure in the liver cancer drug and in 2019 for the glaucoma drug.